I just wanted to say that you're a total party pooper for not showing up for drinks. And Eric just literally bought us a whole jug of Long Island at the club tonight. Party pooper. Boo. You're still ignoring me? Over a stupid argument? Come on, I thought we were besties. You're leaving your best your your bestest friend in the world hanging alone in the club? Who's gonna defend me from all the creeps in the club that offered to buy me drinks? Come meet us, all right? Then we can talk about it. Hey there, I'm on my way home at the moment. You know, in case you were wondering if I was kidnapped. What if the last conversation you ever had was of us fighting, huh? You wouldn't want that hanging over your consciousness, mm-hmm. What would you even say what would you even say at my funeral, hmm? Think about it. Okay. Just made it to the front of my apartment. I gotta find my key. Here, key, key, key. Oh, whoops, here it is. Hip, hip, hooray! Hey, now look, just because we got into a fight doesn't mean you have to go avoiding me like this. Come on, it was just a harmless joke. We joke all the time. I don't... I don't hate Jessica. I just think she's alright. Sort of, I guess. Just... Just call me back, all right? Please? Wow, I just literally spammed you, huh? Okay, my bad. I'll probably regret all that in the morning, but hey, it's not like anyone looks at these. Just give me a second and let me catch my breath for a second. Look, I am sorry about what happened, alright? I don't hate, hate Jessica. I know you've been dating her for a while, and hey, I honestly think that's um, great that you're putting yourself out there. God, how do I even do this? I know I haven't approved on most of the girls you've gone out with. Bethany was just an absolute train wreck. Jessica was just so self-absorbed. God, hearing her go on and on about herself. And don't even get me started on that girl you saw a few months back. What was her name again? Lynette? Okay, whatever. I'm not exactly helping my case, am I? Right, right. So, apology done. Okay, now about Jessica. There wasn't anything wrong with her. In fact, she actually seems decent. It's just... Why her? I mean, like, why, though? You are the most amazing person out there. Like, I would know. We've been best friends since grade school, for Christ's sake. You're always kind, sweet, and you're a thoughtful listener. You were always the shoulder I chose to cry on whenever I was down. You were there to pick me up regardless of what an absolute mess I am. It's you I choose to cry and to laugh with. <laughs> God. When we both dressed up as C-3PO and R2-D2 during Halloween, and you cranked out that killer robot walk, it just kills me to think I could lose all of that. My best friend over those girls, which may have contributed a little to how I see them. I know. I could have been more supportive of your relationships, but I stand by what I said about them. None of them, and I mean none of them, deserve you. You are perfect in every way. It just killed me to think how lucky Jessica is to have you, and yet she's constantly on about one thing or another. You shouldn't play too many video games. Why aren't you going out more? Like, who the hell does she think she is? But, look, if she makes you feel happy, then it's not my place, you know, to say anything about it. But be happy. Except, I can't. I... 
every time I see you with her, holding her in your arms, it makes me think, why? Why can't I be her? Why can't I have that? With... with you. I... I love you. I loved you in your silly C-3PO outfit, and I love you even more now that it hurts to even be close to you. I've been feeling that way since you took me out to prom when my date ditched me. That was when I realized I found who I wanted to dance with all along. To laugh, to cry, to do everything. Till this day, I'm just too much of a coward to say that. That I'm literally telling you this in your voicemail, which, newsflash, no one even listens to anymore. I just can't bear the thought of ruining what we have. I'm just too scared to lose my best friend. <sighs> but it's too late. I guess you're happy now and that having me around is just going to drag your relationship down. I hope Jessica makes you happy. Hey, you finally picked up. Look, I'm really sorry about... Wait, what? You listen to what now? Oh god, you weren't supposed to hear all that. I... I was just gonna delete them when we met up or something. Like, who listens to their voicemail, you weirdo? No, I wasn't dodging the question. <sighs> I was just really, really hammered, alright? And if you could just do me the favor and delete all that, that would be... Did I mean what I said? Uh, I, well, the thing is, there was just way, way, way too many drinks. I don't even remember, and I was just word vomiting, and I... <sighs> yes. Yes, I did. I'm sorry if that was inappropriate of me. Can we just drop it so I can get to apologizing and... Wait, can you say that again? Am I still drunk, or are you saying what I think you're saying? No, I've only had a few drinks. Right, okay, I'm lying. It was quite a few, hence the ridiculous voice messages. Now, can you just say that again loud and clear, please? Holy shit, you just did! I... I love you, too. It's always been you. But, but, wait, what about Jessica? What? That's over? Since when? Okay, you know what? I'm just not even gonna get into that. After the bomb you just dropped? Like, you just said you love me? Yeah, I know I said it first. And I did mean it. Every word of it. God, tonight has just been an absolute roller coaster, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm home safe now. Just about to head in. Yeah, I'm gonna head in. In a little bit. And we'll probably regret the hangover tomorrow. But you and I are going to have to talk about this when I clear my head. Hey. Before you go, can you just say it again? Please? Yep, definitely not hammered now. <laughs> Good night. I love you too. So, so much.